Because in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to connect Microsoft SQL Server database with SSIS, SQL Server Integration Service. So here, this is uh, SSMS and going to use the, the table escort.emp and this is the record. The next is, let's go on this Visual Studio and here the project already have the name is DW Dev and uh, here you can see connection manager is there so right click this and here new connection manager so here you can with the help of adio.net this one connection manager for adio.net connection you can connect there the second option you can use there ODBC and with the help of all EDV, you can also connect the Microsoft SQL Server. So let's uh, select first option, edu.net, click on this, add. Then after this already have the connection, click on this new. So here, when you click this new, and if you click on this drop down, so with the help of SQL data provider, we can connect there with the Microsoft SQL Server. And with the help of ODBC, we can also connect. And here, this is Microsoft SQL Client. So three options we have. So let's uh, select first option and click on OK. Server. So server, since I'm going to connect with the local system so that or there, if you want, then you can give your PC name or let's give your local host and let's give you the password so when i click on this connect here this is connected with the local host and this is the database is there add up the next is let's go there the same thing you can write there pc name or write the local host local host so here you can use the windows authentication or sql server authentication and uh, here let's give optional and if you click on this drop down then you can get the add -up. and uh, first i'm going to connect with the windows authentication and let's click on this test connection and click on ok so here local host adam that's connected and uh, the next is let's click on this new and let's give the local host once again here this SQL server that's selected there server name giving local host and uh, this time going to connect with the SQL server authentication so give here essay give the password let's select this optional and they are going to use so uh, add so according to your requirement you need to select their database after that click on this test connection okay so here localhost adam essay that's connected there 